Doctors have discovered a new disease which is triggering children's immune systems. Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us how scientists are working together to find a cure. It seems unthinkable, but doctors are still faced with treating diseases they've never seen before. One of these diseases that attacks children, especially boys, has now been discovered, and researchers worldwide are working together to find innovative ways to help save these kids. Evan Brandon taught himself how to play the mandolin when a rare disease forced him to take a break from his strenuous studies at Princeton. I was basically in and out of the hospital every few weeks. Evan spent most of his high school years battling infections. I, I had a lot of GI issues. He's just one of six boys who have been diagnosed with a mutation in a gene known as TLR8 that plays a fundamental role in activating the immune system. They have inflammatory response turned on inappropriately. Most patients suffer a low count of neutrophils, white blood cells that patrol the immune system and act as first responders by destroying foreign invaders. Their body is basically turning on without a trigger. And this high inflammatory response that they have leads to um, lowering of their immune cells. Pediatric immunologist Megan Cooper collaborated with 30 scientists from around the world and gathered tissue samples from patients' lung, skin, and blood. I think the biggest mystery is what is triggering it. Evan received a bone marrow transplant to replenish the white blood cells. He believes it cured him and asked if he could have the naming rights for the disease. It's infiltrate spelled I-N-F-L-T-R-8, which it stands for inflammation, neutropenia, bone marrow failure, lymphoproliferation caused by TLR8. And he's the one who came up with infiltrate, which is a great name, and that's what we're calling it. Since the study, two more kids with infiltrate have been identified. And although all are boys, researchers believe it is possible girls are affected as well. They hope by increasing awareness and testing, more patients will be discovered and helped. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.